Hi, this is the third and last of the little mini module on say hello to your data. So just to quickly, uh, the goal in this one is just, I'm going to quickly wrap up to explain what the previous two videos were about and uh, one tiny new thing and then uh, some resources you can explore later on. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to do was introduce the idea of uh, you know, behavioral experiments, the data set that we've been using in this video. There will be other ones that use the same data. Uh, so this is a reasoning study and we talked about the little robot that goes and collects rocks of different sizes and tests whether they've got plaxium on them, etc, etc, etc. Here is a data set and we're going to want to analyze that data set at some point in time. We then talked about uh, reading data into R and in particular we talked about the um, read CSV function, um, so the read underscore CSV, that would load something in. We talked about how to interpret these uh, column specifications. We talked, uh, I showed you the data that had been input, I talked about what the output looks like when you print the data frame, I introduced the function glimpse to show you what happens, like another way of, view, uh, of viewing the same data. Um, most of the, well, pretty much the entirety of the last uh, video was spent talking about the pipe and the easiest way to understand the pipe was to go and look at uh, group and summarize, right? So this is an op a pair of operations that naturally go together and so the idea is if you have something like that reasoning data frame, you would do a at least a two-step operation, right? The first step is to group things and so you take the frames data, you pipe it to this um, group by function, then you specify what your groups are, or what variables are used to do the grouping, and then you'd have the summarize expression um, where the results of, where you compute things like means and standard deviations or something, and what it'll do is compute them separately for each, uh, each group. And then at the end I talked about uh, ungrouping, which removes those tags uh, from the uh, from the data set so that anytime you use those results later on the results aren't treated as grouped again. Yeah. So we worked through that example, uh, I talked about that, we had some more exercises that you can do and so really the last thing that's left on our to-do list is just to say well what about when I'm done, I want to save the data some to something, right? So here's how we do that, like we try to make things as much as possible, people who write software don't want to make our lives harder. So if you read the data with read CSV, hopefully you won't be surprised to discover that you could write with write CSV. Um, so if we have this data set that we'd call by item, then all you have to do is go write underscore CV, CSV, uh, and then open a bracket, by item. That's the gesture that obviously corresponds to typing in the name of the file that you want to save, obviously. I don't know. Okay, so then there's a couple of exercises that you can do in the R Studio project that kind of map onto that. But what I will do is uh, show you that here. So let's go back over. This is continuing from the script I had open in the previous section. So we've got this my summary variable that I've created, right? So we can even see that it's there in the uh, um, environment, so I'll just get rid of that print step and what I'll do instead is go uh, write CSV and we would go um, my brain just went dead. Okay, the file, uh, the, the data that we want to save is my summary and then comma we kind of go and then I want to path, so that's the file I want to save it to, and I might call it my data summary .csv, and that would work. What I am going to do, however, as a reminder to myself, as well as to you and to everyone else, is we'll move this back over to the script that I started at the beginning. So if you remember, I had one that just said, hey, this is, so we've got load packages, read the data and over here we might have a section that you would call summarize my data using yeah just using group i and 
piping and so on. And then we would have a write data to, so I shouldn't say write data, write summary to file. Okay, and that is, that would be the uh, overall uh, output, like this is what you should have learned how to do by the end of this uh, video series, um, is reading the data in using read CSV, uh, understanding what this piping operation that we're doing means, then we've got grouped, group by, summarize and ungroup. So this is creating a uh, um, a custom summary of our data set and then the final step in that is going to be to save the data all right so if we go over here to files um, I'll just make that full screen you can see I hope that yep there is no file called uh, my data summary dot CSV there is a summary by item CSV which is from there's one I did earlier um, but let's go if we source that it now does the whole thing. It reads the data, it summarizes the data, and then it saves it to a CSV file. And you can even check, um, you know, if, let's, if we just went with, you know, if we went to open the file, uh, I think if we just go view file, yeah, this is, so this is the raw format of the CSV. So there's test item, there's, there's the data that we've just written to a file. Okay. But let's close that because it's not super interesting. That's the whole thing. Uh, that's the the general workflow I want you to take uh, from this section. Um, and uh, what you'll find is that as you get used to using the pipe, it'll feel more and more natural. All right, so to wrap everything up then, is uh, a comment on where you should look next if you have if you have some need to. So not everything in life comes with in simple. Uh, um, CSV files, right? Sometimes it's nice if they do. If you've got an Excel file, there's the read Excel package that is really useful for that. If you've got data that's come from SPSS or Stata or SAS or something, then the Haven package is really helpful for that. JSON format, should you be unlucky enough to encounter JSON data, have a look at the JSON Lite package. The, uh, if you're working with databases, dbplyr is pretty good for that. There's a whole bunch of these packages out there. If you want to pull things directly in and out of Google Sheets, there's a Google Sheets 4, I think it's called, package uh, that will do that, that work for you. Uh, so, go, you know, if you go Google around, you'll find the things that you need. More generally, uh, I would suggest having a look at the data import chapter in R for Data Science. Uh, and there's the link to it right there. Um, but other than that, which of course you can't see because my face is in the way, uh, it wasn't in the class, but you can find it on the slides. Uh, all right, I'm going to stop there. Uh, and, you know, hopefully that makes sense. You can now go on to the next series, which is on uh, dplyr and shows a little bit more practical skills on data manipulation and data wrangling and so on. Okay, I'm done. I'm done!